Okay, folks, uh, got a call late last night in the rain, this motorcycle, and drunk driver run off, well, crossed the center line, hit this guy, knocked him into the ditch, and he laid it down, of course, and it's about going on this side, but uh, anyway, so I think he just hurt his foot, I'm hoping besides that he's okay, so uh, while I was loading this thing up, it took a while to get it out from where it was and, you know, without tearing more stuff up because I don't like damaging stuff that's not damaged because, you know, sometimes uh, people don't have full coverage and they want to fix their stuff. And the more I tear up, the harder it is on them. So I try not to mess anything up. And as you can see, everything looks good on this side. But uh, I was letting my truck run and I did not realize that the radiator evidently it's uh, an old radiator and something happened, lost my water, overheated, screwed my truck up. So we are in the process of pulling the heads off now. It's on the, uh, the one we just put the engine in, what, about a month, two months ago, something, whatever it was. Anyway, so uh, we did get the, uh, the old four-door back out and we explained to you the situation with this. I know I put this together and everybody... <clears throat> You know, I've had quite a few people wonder why I haven't driven it, and it has just been sitting. And I'm going to be absolutely honest with you because I don't like it. Uh, there's just some things about this truck I don't like. One thing is, is at idle, it's smoking some. It's going to have to have uh, two injectors on the on the passenger side. It really needs a full set, but there's two that's given issues. We've done a balance test on it, and just a few other little things. The fuel system's not clean. I'm going to have to. We'll change the gas tank. Uh, I do not like that air ride. I, I'm so I'm just disgusted with Link Air Ride. I don't even I don't care a bit about them. Uh, I, I'm gonna do away with the leveling on each side and move it to the center and just have one leveling bar like we do on the internationals. Uh, I've been having and I'm sitting here looking. I've been having a terrible, terrible tire bounce. And I'm sitting here looking and I'm just, I was getting ready to get my wife to ride down the road and, and follow me on the four lane, but it looks like that cap, you can hear air, that's that valve leaking, but it looks like that is, it must have been a cap that I've got on the inside and it's coming off. So maybe that's our bounce and I'm sure it probably is. Got really nice tires on it, except I think the two inside tires are capped. So I gotta do something about that. I gotta get that bounce out of it. I can't stand it. Yeah, that's a cap too. So I got four brand new tires on it. And then two really nice caps. So it looks like we're gonna get rid of the two really nice caps and put two more tires on it. We'll have six new tires on it. Uh, the bed's too narrow. I don't like that. Uh, we're going to eventually be pulling this bed, sliding this bed off, sliding a steel bed on it. I'm going to build one. Uh, this, you can see the tires are actually stuck out farther than the bed is. So anyway, that's why I haven't been driving this truck because I just don't like it. You know, it's nice to have air conditioning and all that stuff, but uh, when I go to do a job, I want a work truck. I don't want a truck that's just going to, you know, between the air ride and the, you know, the narrow bed and just all the little things add up I just it just bothers me so uh, anyway that's the deal on that and I'll show you where we're at on the other truck all right we've got the radiator out uh, which has probably been bad for a long time I'm not the best in the world for a long time so that's uh, seven hundred dollars for a new aluminum radiator I think a, a new copper one's even more than that so $1,200 for a set of heads and, you know, over 100 for gaskets, uh, head bolts, and then, uh, you know, you still got to change the oil and everything else. Uh, I had to put water in it to get the motorcycle unloaded, and so I got it unloaded, and then, uh, of course, water leaked into the cylinder and locked the engine down. So before this thing sits with water in one of the cylinders, that's why we're going on taking it down, even though parts are not here yet but everything is ordered and uh, Noah said if he had the parts he could have it done by lunchtime 
and uh, I think it's what 11 o'clock now. So. Is that right, Noah? 11:30. I'd have it done by lunchtime. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, didn't want to take it apart, but you know, it's the way it goes. It's not a, you know, not a big deal. It's just another day in the life, you know. Let me get two more tires on the way. So there's a, uh, you know, another three or four hundred dollars. Uh, I, I was buying Goodyear's at $304 a piece or something like that. That'd be $600. So, you know, you can start throwing money on a truck really quick. So, uh, I'm definitely going to be spending more this week and I'm going to be making. So. All right, let me get to work. Okay, so we're moving right along. Getting ready to pull the intake and then we got to get the exhaust manifolds and head. But we did find something that may have been part of the problem. Uh, the thermostat's in pieces and it was crooked in there. So I've got a feeling that that was a lot of our issue. Something happened to it. So. Anyway, I'll update you more here shortly. All right, folks, we've got a big selection of stuff under the intake on the valley pan. Uh, just by my store hardware store. We got pipe plug, half inch, pipe plug, eighth inch. We got one glow plug, bolt, so anything there somebody needs, let me know. Washer? We'll get it right in the mail. Oh, a washer. Uh, so here's the cylinder. We've got water running out. So we know that uh, this was the one that has a cracked head. Uh, but we're still, like I said, going to change both heads. I don't want to take a chance on it. So, uh, boy, what a mess. But we're going to go ahead and get the, uh, and I'll probably go ahead and put new glow plugs and everything in it while I'm at it. Uh, and I'll debate on the injectors. It was running good. But anyway, we've got to get the heads off, and then we've got to get the injectors out. And uh, the heads, of course, are, we've got to send them back as cores. And they don't care if they're cracked or any problems like that. they just got to be complete. Unfortunately, this ain't the first set of heads, or first head I had to put on a 7.3. So uh, we're going to get the exhaust off, get the valve covers, rocker arms, push rods, and we ought to have the heads off here in a little bit. So how long have we been at it now? Couple hours. Yeah, it ain't been long. It's been well, almost three hours. So, and uh, Noah, they, if I walk away, he goes to sleep. So, that's uh, why he's got grease all over his head. He keeps putting his head down there and on the engine. But all right, Noah, let's roll. All right, we got it taken apart. Noah's happy. Here, do that again, Noah. <laughs> we finally got her down. Oh, bolts. Okay, so although there was water in that cylinder, I could not find a crack on the head. And the water's still in the cylinder. But it could have came over from the other side, I don't know. It's hard to say, but we looked hard and never found a crack. Maybe you can see it on camera. But we had no issue finding a crack on the other head. And oh. I didn't think it was cracked. So we've got that one one right here we got one wait a minute that right might not be correct though. it is is it correct yeah right there okay and we got one running between the cylinders and another one running between the cylinders all of them's correct so I really did a good job on that it's a crackhead <laughs> uh, so now we'll get our new heads in and We'll get it all cleaned up and back together, but for now we're, we've got the cylinders cleaned out and got them a bunch of uh, PP blaster in them, and then I think we'll take some rags and soak them in oil and just stuff them down the holes and then cover it up because it's going to be a few days before we can even start putting it back together. But I did. My worry was that I didn't want it to sit with water in the cylinders, so that's why we went ahead and take it, you know took it apart because I knew there was water in the cylinders because the engine was locked. It actually uh, hydro locked it, so. Uh, Anyway, but the culprit, I'm assuming, must have been that thermostat because it was blocked when it came out and was turned. And whatever happened to it, I don't understand, but uh, it was blocking the, blocking the system off. It wasn't free-flowing through it. So Anyway, we'll get her all cleaned up and get the heads and get them back together, and I'll show you as we go on that. So what we're going to do now, Noah, take a little break? Yeah. All right. So... Uh, wasn't uh, wasn't too bad of a job. Didn't take too long. 
and take a little longer putting back together but uh, it won't be that bad we should have, be able to do it in a day with no problem and let me see oh, we got to put the new radiator in too we definitely don't want to go back with the old radiator and probably flush the system out before we do of course but uh, I'm going to go try to find a couple of tires for one of my rollbacks and see how that works out. All right. Okay, I want to mention another thing too on this. Uh, I don't know what these are called. They're a little insert that goes in. Uh, your glow plugs up inside and your, your injector shoots down through, I guess. And uh, These, it's normal to get these cracked. Uh, I have bought heads that was reconditioned and it was already cracked before I put them on. So it's no big issue, I guess. And uh, Never really done the research to find out what the deal was on that. Didn't really matter. I just knew that it didn't matter. But cracks on, you know, on the actual head itself is what you got to worry about. So, all right, let's move on. Okay, folks, I figured I'd give you another look at this thermostat. You can see how it's it's in there. It's jammed just like that. And I don't know why. There's actually a piece of what looks like wood. That might be. Yeah, Permatex maybe. It might be Permatex, but this thing, you know, I just assumed that it was the uh, radiator that, you know, was giving trouble, but I, I'm, you know, this thing here would have been the, the initial cause of the problem. I have no doubt. Jammed in there sideways like that, you know, it wasn't letting hardly any water pass through there. So. I don't know. It's never good when you have these kind of problems. So things don't ever go as planned. You know, I, the plans was is to work on the uh, the Studebaker Golden Hawk, get the interior back in it, which wouldn't take long. And then we was going to jump on the, uh, the drag car, but it looks like we might have to hold off just a little bit longer. So uh, we'll get back on it and get some get some stuff done here. But uh, anyway. Okay, folks, I uh, went and picked up two Dynatrack 14 ply, and I'm real impressed with the tread depth. And the tire feels really thick and hard. They're made in Taiwan, $150 a piece. I don't think that was too bad. So, anyway, we're going to get rid of that. I'm sure that's my problem. You can see the cracks there, and it's really separating right there. And I don't like caps whatsoever so we're definitely going to get rid of the the cold caps so then we can uh, maybe go back to using this truck and it won't uh, aggravate me so much uh, i don't like riding in a truck that bounces so i'm sure nobody else does and you don't want cold caps coming off and hitting the car behind you either or tearing up your own stuff uh, anyway so like i said things don't go the way you want them to all the time so we're going to keep working on these trucks for a little bit and then we'll uh, probably well, I'm waiting on parts now I know they shipped the heads out today so I should have them in a couple days but in the meantime if we get these tires on and I get the gas tank changed on this truck then we'll jump on the Triumph and work on it a little bit if not you know if, if the the parts are here we're going to go ahead and jump back on that rollback and knock it out and get it back together so but uh, anyway I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, we'll get back on some fun stuff here soon. And uh, as soon as I get some of this uh, real work out of the way. All right. Bye.